Hello, this is Michael here. Um, I decided I was going to do a review today, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to, I think I'm going to let someone else do this one. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. <laughs> I think you'll know who it is. Um, the the Blu-ray I was going to review was going to be Images on uh, Blu-ray from Arrow Academy. Uh, it's a pretty confusing film at times. Uh, featured, it's about schizophrenia and doppelgangers. Um, so yeah, so after the break, check in with the review. Hey everyone, Michael here. I am back with yet another review. Um, this time it's for a pretty confusing film featuring kind of doppelgangers and schizophrenia. Uh, released in 1972, I am reviewing today Images, released on Blu-ray from Arrow Video. It's part of their Arrow Academy release. So stay tuned for the rest of the review. Okay, so the Blu-ray I'm reviewing today, like I said, is Images. Uh, released in 1972, it's directed by Robert Altman. Um, haven't seen too many of Robert Altman's films. Uh, the back of the cover mentions a few. Um, uh, MASH, uh, McCabe and Mrs. Miller, uh, The Long Goodbye, California Split, Nashville. I think he also did Godsford Park. Um, images is, I think, is potentially the first one I've seen by him. And uh, it was scored by John Williams. Yes, that John Williams. And the image, uh, the cinematography was by Vilmos Sigmund, who did Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Yet another movie I haven't seen for some reason. Um, the plot behind images is. It's definitely a film that's very difficult to explain because it is a confusing movie. Um, it involves uh, our main character, uh, Catherine, played by Susanna York. Um, she suffers from schizophrenia and there's potentially her husband might be having an affair. Um, it's pretty obvious that she's had affairs before. Um, and it, uh, okay, so... Hello? No, I'll just cut that part out. Um, okay, so she, um, the beginning of the movie, she kind of suffers from a few hallucinations, and you already know that she's not exactly there. Um, then her husband takes, decides to take her on a holiday to her, they're kind of like their like cottage or their house over in Ireland. And uh, they go there, beautiful scenery, um, but her, her hallucinations keep happening, like, and they're actually intensifying. But then you start to learn that, yeah, she has cheated before on these on her husband with multiple men. Um, so she's not the most innocent character, I would say. But um, she believes that she can get over these hallucinations by basically killing them. Um, you can kind of see where the film is going from there. Um, it's definitely not, I, I wouldn't really classify it as a horror film. Um, in a way, it's not your typical horror film. It's not like very overly graphic or scary in that regards, but it is scary and losing one's identity and not knowing what's real and what isn't. Um, Susanna York does an amazing job in the role. Um, so yeah, it's scary like that, but it is classified as a uh, kind of like drama fantasy film. Fantasy, maybe? I don't know what's so fantasy about schizophrenia, but, um, and it's definitely, it's kind of like those books that, um, involve an unreliable narrator because you are con you are always in Susanna's head basically you're seeing what she, she's seeing like um the way they shoot the film there's a lot of like cameras and images like well, images there's a lot of cameras lying around the house but the actual physical camera is also kind of a character like you're also part of her hallucination because she does look into the camera several times and she's yeah it's really it's really weird there's a lot of weird stuff in this movie um it runs about 101 minutes. Uh, it can be a little slow at times, um, but I think a lot of the a lot of the photography, like I said, by uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Zig Sigmund, um, it definitely makes up for some of the kind of dull moments because it always looks beautiful. I mean, Ireland's a beautiful, it's a beautiful place, right? So, um, not sure if I'm a fan of the end. Uh, the end kind of just comes at you, and then you're like, whoa, oh okay, I guess. Is it real or is it not real? So 
you know, it kind of leaves things open a little bit. Um, but I think overall, I think I liked it. I think it was actually a pretty fun movie. Um, like, fun might not be the correct word to describe a film about schizophrenia, but it's definitely an engaging film. Um, yeah, and uh, it's like it's released by Arrow Academy. Um, I, I've mentioned it several times at Arrow Academy films I don't normally watch, um, but I did mention in a past, uh, I think in my video log, I said I was going to do images because I said it looked interesting, and I'm actually really glad that I, uh, that I did review it. Um, as for the Blu-ray, it is a new 4K scan, and I'll read what's in the booklet because it does come with a booklet. The booklet, once again, it does not say on the back that it's limited. So it might be in all copies. I can't guarantee that, but it might be in all copies. So it's a brand new restoration for 4K scan. Um, didn't have any issues overall with the scan. Uh, there is a few times where it might be a little bit, it's not very overly sharp at times, but uh, I think overall it definitely, it definitely showcases the cinematography really well with this new 4K scan. Um, and do we have original English mono audio? It's uncompressed LPCM on the Blu-ray. Um, yeah, I didn't have any issue with it. Uh, John Williams score. I mean, it's not your typical John Williams that you would imagine. So it's actually really cool. Um, English subtitles. Uh, there is an audio commentary by Sam oh, Digham and Kat Ellinger. Um, like I said, I don't normally listen to the audio commentaries i just don't have time um but i'm sure it's I'm sure it's perfectly informative uh there's also a scene select commentary by the director and there is a archive featurette it's called imagining images with altman and the cinematographer ah uh, jeez i turned it on i did watch most of it and i can't remember exactly how long it was i'm sorry i can't remember um i did well, there was a new interview with actor Catherine Harrison, who plays the girl in the film. I didn't mention her, but there is a girl in the film. And um, there's some kind of neat stuff with that. It kind of makes you wonder in the story, like, is this girl really real? Or Yeah, so she's interviewed. Um, and then there was an appreciation uh, by musician and author Stephen Thrower, who I've mentioned before on Arrow videos. Uh, Blu-rays, I usually get him. He's uh, really cool. Like he's very informative when he does his uh, like when he does his not interviews because it's more of an essay. It's a visual, it's a kind of if well, it's an essay, <laughs> and his ran I think it was thirty two minutes and uh, it was very informative. Um, it also made me kind of understand the movie a little better. Um, it doesn't he doesn't overly spoil much, but it kind of he kind of dissects some of the themes and theories and just makes you uh, understand the movie a little bit better. And then we had a theatrical trailer. And then this is the uh, image, or the uh, cover here. And then, like I said, there's the booklet, which I will talk about shortly. And then the reverse sleeve. I mentioned on Cultivation, on my Cultivation review, I mentioned Scalpel, how the cover made it look like a horror film. Now, what type of genre film does this cover make you think of? Look at that. I don't know if you can... Everything's reverse. It's really hard to see. Yeah, that's the reverse cover. And honestly, if you were to look at this, and you're if you're a big fan of Jalo films, this is definitely a cover that would make you think it's a Jalo. I mean, it's yellow. There's a knife. Like, it's it, it's it's a Jalo. <laughs> like, I can't believe it. Yeah. So I'm gonna flip that around, even though it doesn't really represent. It doesn't represent the right genre for the film, but and it is a nice looking cover. Oh, a little sleeve fell out here, a little cardboard talking. Yeah, it just shows kind of other Arrow Academy releases. And the booklet. Let's just take a quick look at the booklet. Uh, we got the cast and crew. We got images by Carmen Gray. We got Altman on Altman, which is uh, 2006 by David Thompson. And then we got about the restoration. So this is the booklet here. Kind of. Yeah, uh, let's see here. Altman on Altman. Was it originally published in something? It's an interview. Doesn't say it was originally published. Okay, let me read the about the transfer for you guys. Uh, images has been exclusively restored for this release by Arrow Films. The film is presented in its original theatrical aspect ratio of 235.1 with mono sound. The original 35 camera 
negative was scanned in 4K resolution on a pin-registered ERA scan. Picture grading was performed on a DaVinci Resolve, thousands of instances of dirt debris scratches. Picture instability and other instances of filmware were repaired or removed through a combination of digital restoration tools and techniques. There are a couple of instances in which next generation dupe materials were inserted into the cut negative. At these points, the quality of the image is reduced, which what I mentioned I noticed, uh, and the film grain is elevated to a noticeable level. But we have attempted to make these shots fit in with the surrounding footage as closely as possible. The original mono soundtrack was restored from the original DME mag reels. All restoration work was completed at Silver Salt Restoration in London. All materials for the restoration were made available by handmade films via Park Circus Group. Cool. So yeah, so it does, Arrow, Arrow does mention the degradation and some of that quality of footage. So that's good. I mean, they don't give you a warning at the beginning of the film or anything, but I mean, it didn't really, it didn't ruin my experience with it. So it's not, it just, I noticed every once in a while it kind of degraded a little bit, but so that's it. That is Images by Robert Altman. Uh, kind of a trippy, kind of really psychedelic out there film. Uh, you don't know what's real, what isn't real. Uh, doppelgangers. It's, it's really trippy. So yeah, so that is, Hello? Hello? Who are you? I'm Michael. I'm sorry, you're not Michael. I'm Michael. You're Michael. Uh, you don't really know what you're talking about, do you? What do you mean I don't know what I'm talking about? I let you review this. You didn't let me review this. Oh, you did? I did. Oh. Crazy people, huh? Who am I right now?